2017 Super Aeronautique G23. Um, great looking boat, especially in the sunlight. We've got uh, colors in mystic white, hole bottom, forward stripe and accent. Also interior deck, which you'll see um, as we climb into the interior. And uh, as you can see glittering in the sun, the gunmetal metallic. Pretty cool looking boat in the sun on the water. Got uh, some on water video of that as well, so be sure to check that out. Um, some new features on this boat for 2017. You're going to see up on the tower, especially, are uh, the new vertical clamping board racks, the new tower for 2017 G Series boats. Uh, with the design package, you get the two tones. So we've got anthracite and mystic white on the base on the top there four jail 8.8 .8 tower speakers with down lighting as well and then our nautique bimini top with uh the surf pockets also uh, you're gonna see the white chromax letters um, super air nautique logo there new for 2017 Sitting on a tandem axle Boatmate trailer with five spoke wheels in white, matching spare tire, bow ladder up front. This thing looks awesome sitting on that. Come around to the far side here. We uh, went and did 35% window tint on the windshield. Step around back. <laughs> got guys hollering at this beautiful boat we got out here. Um, steps on the transom. Get up on the uh, platform there. See our NSS and surf pipe down there. Locking transom straps going up to the uh, platform to hold that thing sturdy going down the road. Uh, Mocha Sea Deck as well, all through the interior. A close look at this new white chromax get that on the vents in the back as well and all your badging on the interior but uh pretty clean look with this thing the majority of it white and uh, i think it looks amazing so got you guys a good look at the exterior let's hop on inside take our shoes off here oh also Got your white logo there, white on white on the step here. Um, on the back end, we can have our pop-up cooler on the step. And on into the interior. Got the seats flipped around right now. So you can see, transformable seating in the G23. Uh, you've got your starboard side lean back. Um, the uh, center seat that flips up as well as the port side lean back over on the left there. Let's better look at those uh, new board racks. Show you how these work. So these here are on a bungee. So you pull them up, let go, and they put the pressure on the board and hold those things right there. Nice and, nice and wide so you can fit uh, all your thicker surfboards in there, no problem. Let's, uh, let's hold up and take a look down into the interior from above. Uh, frost gray main. Gunmetal piping. Mojave seat boxing. And mystic white texture or carbona in the interior. Get a little bit better. Uh, it's easier to keep the frost gray clean and it looks really good on the interior of this boat. Let's hop on inside. Oh, excuse me there. Both of our storage areas on this jeep. On the other side of the engine here, huge massive storage areas. On either side with the uh, Board racks, or I'm sorry, the uh, rope hangers slash vest hangers. 
those things flip down like so. Get two of those on each side for a ton of room on the storage on, on that part of the boat. All right, under the trunk, we've got our 6.2 liter direct injection by PCM. This is a 450 horse motor. Um, used to be the upgrade for the G23 and the 25. Um, it is now the standard offering, so um, plenty of power, more than more than most would ever need on this thing. Um, you get great fuel economy out of it, and uh, again, the, the torque numbers are out of the uh, off the charts. Um, be running this thing full ballast and then some, you know, full boat of people, and this thing's going to get you right up on plane. Look at you split, um, no problems there. So super stoked on on uh, our direct injection motors and. Uh, they look pretty cool too. So let's uh, let's move on to the rest of the interior. Close these up. Um, like we talked about, we got our transformable seating here. Our seat here simply folds down. If we swing this around, you'll see. You simply lift up and let that thing slide right back into place there. Um, on the interior, stereo setup. We've got six JL interior speakers behind the grills you're seeing here. Four in the main cockpit, two up in our bow, um, in those cup holder areas here and here. Four JL 8.8 .8 tower speakers up top. So there, here those are. Full range of sound from these tower speakers. They push. Not just treble like a lot of tower speakers out there, but you know your full tone, um, bass, and everything. So it's almost like having a couple of subwoofers up on the tower. Um, new for this year as well is our down lighting from on the 8.8s. So you get those there. This little strip there is a light and uh, illuminate the interior for nighttime if need be. Also equipped on this G23 for the stereo are our wave front speakers. So those grills there and over here go down into a full size uh, JL speaker, same as the ones through the, uh, the sides. And that really fills the sound out and those little gaps you get behind the windshield there. It's, it's an upgrade on this boat. Standard though is a 12 inch subwoofer and when you add the wavefront speakers you get two of those So you get one um, Under here by your amps and the trash can and your huge storage area under the glove box and Under the helm at the driver's feet behind this kick panel. There's another full-size 12 inch subwoofer So amazing sound on the 2017 g23 um, In our glove box uh, you got a couple storage trays and your stereo head unit is in there and this thing goes down deep as you can see we got this uh, boat bag in here and tons of room for all your gear to be safely stowed away in the glove box there on our helm uh, the premium stitching hand stitch steering wheel new for this year you can see the stitching around on, on the uh, underside here on the inner side rather um, also the phone holder and the cubby storage spot so this goes all the way back here you can have USB charging ports in the back as long as well as uh, um, the bigger screen over here on the right side so that's called the link pan array fully touch enabled and uh, obviously wider than previous years so you've got all your diagnostics off to the left and on the right we have the switchboard which is uh, going to be kind of an a la carte as far as what you see on that side you can pick and choose from four different slots to, to uh, decide what you want to see on the right side of the screen helm command over here by the throttle as well so you can operate the, the entire functionality of the screen with the dial or you can simply do the touch screen um, whatever you prefer um, quick keys for volume, rider presets, and GPS, and then a quick key to get to your home screen and tab through the different menus on the 
on the Link Panerai. So super intuitive screen, um, super easy to use. Um, I think it's by far one of the easiest um, helm setups to use in the industry right now. Everything makes sense on it, you know, nothing's repeating itself. It's all super straightforward and easy to use. Um, other features on this G, before we start to finish up here and wind, uh, wind this thing down, you can have your heater, so you've got your outlet up top there, um, a heater outlet at the feet, the driver, and one behind, the two down low pop out like so. So you can uh, stretch that out and get people anywhere in the main area of the boat some heat if they need it. Our driver's side seat is also heated. It's controlled from the uh, Link Panerai screen. So it's nice to have that along with the love seat. So seat base and back are heated. That comes on by hitting this little button right here. As we go through the walkway, you've got a hatch that opens up to your trash can. The one on the right here opens up to your battery switch. In the bow, again, two more speakers and a handful of cup holders up here. So you can see, C-Deck step pads all the way around. So whether you're entering the boat from up front or back, um, you've got that non-skid C-Deck all across the gunnels to keep them from getting scratched up and keep them from uh, slipping around. So super nice to have that up here. Um, one other feature on this G we've optioned on is the um, uh, Fender Pro system. So um, it's our boat fender attachment system. Fenders uh, tie your rope to a little clip that locks into there. You get six of those on the G23. And a nice spacious bow up here in the G. And uh, let's get one more look at our interior here. Before we wrap this thing up. Didn't look at our storage areas on either side here, so we'll pull those open before I end this. But uh, those communicate to either side, into the back. Got our platform cover stashed in there as we speak. So pretty much wraps it up on this 2017 G23, you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 317-845-9253. Um, come check this thing out, it's ready to go. Thanks for watching.